Hey everyone, I'm Julius, this is Paula. Welcome to Galui's Mood Food. Let's go tempt your taste buds. Hi everyone, today we're going to be making you some pasta bajoule, which is a hearty Italian soup. And now each region of Italy has their own version of this. Uh, this was what was handed down to us, and we're going to show you how to make it today. First off, we're going to start with a nice zucchini. Uh, what you want to do is you want to cut both ends off, discard them, and you want to start slicing it and probably a slice about like this. And from there, you're going to take it and you're going to cut that into quarters. So you have pieces something like this. Okay, like I said, each piece is going to be roughly about this size. And after you get your zucchini cut, which is a, a nice size zucchini, not too big, not too small, you're going to put it in a nice saute pan with some good, fresh, extra virgin olive oil. Don't be afraid to put a little bit too much in. You're going to put a little salt and you're going to put this on probably a medium heat and what you want to do is you want to get a nice, um, it's not going to be brown but it's just going to be nicely cooked. You don't want it too done. You want to be more al dente which we call more undante um, just so because it's going to cook more in the soup. So this is what you want to do. Keep your eye on it. And we're going to show you the next part of this now. Hi, I'm Paula. And uh, we're going on to the next um, portion of the pasta visual, which roughly translates into pasta and beans. So uh, what you want to do is you want to add a 32 ounce box or container of chicken stock. Have your heat set to medium, medium high. I want to say medium high. All right, after that, uh, we're going to go with a little basil. And we don't really measure anything. We just measure it that you can eyeball it and it's to taste. So there's the basil in there. Oh, what the heck. A little more for good measure on that one because we like the basil. Alright, we're going to add some garlic powder. It's a good couple shakes of that right there. We're going to add some sodium free chicken stock. A couple shakes or a good palm full. Some majorum, which I don't know, the name sounded really good, so I just went and got it. No, it's really good for pastas and stuff. <laughs> so, good few shakes of that. Uh, some celery flakes here. And a lot of these um, that I'm using right now, so two good healthy tablespoons of the celery flakes. A lot of these I'm using right now like the Italian oregano, uh, we grow and we dry them out ourselves and that'll be a lesson later on that we'll, we'll get into. But there's the Italian oregano. Alright, might seem like a lot, but it's not. It's going to be really good flavor. And give yourself a really good helping of black pepper. Alright, now we're going to go into some dehydrated onions, the dried onions nice big palm full of that. 
We're going to do some onion powder as well. Just give a couple swirls around the pan. And by the way, this is a three quart right here, three quart saucepan. Uh, we're going to throw in one, two, three bay leaves. And that one just escaped, so we're going to well, we'll throw them in since you want to escape. A little bit of thyme. Now this you want to be real careful on. See that little pinch right there? Just a pinch. Just a pinch of thyme. That's all you need. And the other thing is rosemary. Again, just a pinch. They're a little overpowering, so you don't want too much in there to overpower everything else. But you can certainly go plentiful on the others as uh, to what your taste buds really want. All right, get you a spoon, give this a stir. Right now we're on about a medium high heat. What you want to do is get this to uh, start to boil, but not quite a full boil. And after you do, uh, we're going to take it and we're going to put a lid on this and we're going to turn it down low to a simmer. And that's your start of your base of your soup. And in the meantime, you keep an eye on your zucchini and you give it a stir as needed. So all these good things are going to come together later and it's going to be one fantastic soup for you. From here, what we do is we bring our base up to a high heat and get it boiling. So you can leave it covered and look at it. And then what you want to do from there, once it starts boiling, is this, where you got a rapid boil, a rapid boil. Now I don't measure, but I take handfuls, palmfuls, handfuls, just one. Two, three, four, and a half. That's for a three quart saucepan. So four and a half handfuls of Didalini. That's a small pasta. Okay, so once you're done with that, give it a quick stir so they don't stick together. You keep it up on uh, medium high heat. Then what you do is you take a beautiful wine of your choice, naturally. You pour yourself some. Mine's got the pee on the glass for Paula. And you do one, two blops of wine, or gulps. You got a little wipe down there, right there. You have yourself a little swig of wine. Set that aside. You get this a stir. Put it up to high. Keep stirring. At this point in time, you're going to need a little bit more of the chicken stock. Alright. Maybe a fourth of a cup, at best half a cup, but you're going to need it. Give it a couple of stirs here. And where we go from here is you're going to need 100% vegetable juice, okay? And you pour that in there. Maybe a cup, cup and a half full. 
I would say a good cup and a half full. Keep that on high heat. Give it a good stir. It brought the boiling temp back down, but that's okay. It's, it's doing what it's gotta do, it's doing its magic. So then we take fire roasted tomatoes with garlic in them. And you can just do fire roasted as they are. You can do the garlic and basil as long as they're a fire roasted tomato. Now you can put them in as is, but we like ours not so chunky. So you put them in a blender. And you don't blend them till they're like the vegetable juice. You just pulse them. Couple quick pulses. You still got lots of chunks of fire roasted tomatoes in here. You pour that in. Get all that goodness in right there. After that's in, we still got it on high heat. After that's in, then you add a can of northern beans. So in go your northern beans. After that, the zucchini that we prepared earlier that, that Julius did, we're going to put all that in, all those good bits in. I told you you'd need a three-quart saucepan. I've done this many, many, many a time. Get all that good stuff in there. All the um, zucchini, all the olive oil. Olive oil makes a difference, people. Olive oil makes a difference. Stir it up. Now you've had it on high heat for a while. Now your pasta's in there and everything. Turn it down to a medium heat. Hey, you stir until the noodles are al dente, or as we call it, andante. And once you feel it's at that right place and time, that's when you get your aged Romano. Splurge on this, if nothing else, in this dish. Okay? It's well worth it. And you take a, a handful and you put it in. And you stir that up. Get it mingled. You can take your bay leaves out now if you'd like, or you can leave them in because they just continue to add flavor. So it's, it's your choice on that. Then you get yourself a beautiful bowl, and you fill it up with all the goodies. And you put a little bit more of the aged Romano on it. Hey, I see hey, it's hey. not deep. It's not deep. And you got some great bread. Oh, yeah, you got to have the bread. Absolutely. Get yourself a good piece of bread. Your pasta visual. You've been watching Galui's Mood Food. And I'm a dunker. I'm oh, yeah, you got the dunk. I'm a dunker. So enjoy. This is how you make our pasta visual. Try the recipe. Try the recipe. We'll see you again on, for our next webisode. Come on back. Oh my gosh, that's good. Enjoy the cooking. Mm. Mwah.